Welcome to the University College Maastricht. I'm standing here at the entrance to our monumental Neuenhof building in the heart of the city. Today, we are going to take you on, on a tour of our building. At UCM, we study liberal arts and sciences, which means we create our own tailor-made bachelor's program. Hi, I'm Katja, and I've lived in several different countries, including Germany, the US, Albania, and Poland, but I'm actually half German, half Irish. Here at UCM, I study the human mind and identity, so psychology and sociology. Today, I'm going to start the tour here in the UCM common room. Throughout the course of history, this building served many different purposes. It was a monastery, a military hospital, and at some point it was an orphanage run by nuns before it was taken over by Maastricht University in 1981. Students meet here before and after class to hang out and grab a coffee, and committees organize loads of events here, including charity bake sales and the famous open mic night. I like using the common room to hang out between classes and make plans with friends for the evening. This 15th century chapel is one of the University College Maastricht's most distinctive features. Nowadays, the chapel serves as the UCM lecture hall. Our student organizations also make use of this space for film screenings, academic debates, and guest lectures organized by the Academic Council. I'm now gonna hand the tour over to Sophia. Hi, I'm Sophia. I'm half Belgian, half American, but I've lived in the Netherlands my whole life. At UCM, I focus on psychology mixed with artificial intelligence. We're now standing in the, the hallway outside of the lecture hall. UCM en emphasizes an individual approach to learning, meaning that support staff and teachers are available to students. This little window opens to the Office of Student Affairs and Board of Examiners, who during open office hours are available for questions and help. This is one of UCM's trademark features, the beautiful courtyard in the center of the new Hof. As this building served as a monastery for most of its existence and as a national Dutch monument, there are still many original features present. It is additions such as this sign that make the courtyard feel like home. The message, everything will be okay, was originally spray painted by a student during an exam week. But as spray painting is not allowed, UCM decided to add this sign as a prominent feature of our courtyard. When the weather is nice outside, this is where UCM's music committee hosts open mic nights. During this event, UCM's talent performs stand-up, music, poetry, and magic tricks. Going to such events is a perfect way to meet new people and support the UCM community. We are now in a typical UCM classroom where the majority of teaching takes place. A UCM tutorial consists of a small group of students engaging in discussions following the problem-based learning method. I still remember my first tutorial session at UCM. I was a little intimidated by the more experienced students, but being mixed with second and third years allowed me to pick up the problem-based learning process quickly. Hi, I'm Rufus and I'm British German. At UCM, I focus on philosophy and politics, and I will start my part of the tour here at the Pigeon Halls. These are used for mail within UCM. Although it may seem like an antiquated method of communication, and most communication is done via email, having your personal pigeonhole does have its benefits such as leaving little treats for your friends. This back hallway is actually part of the second city wall of Maastricht. The first city wall dates back to Roman times and can be seen close to the Freithof, one of the city's main squares. This particular city wall was built around 1350, but it has clearly been renovated. You can recognize new milestone by its clear color and untouched look. If you look up, you can see that the roof of this hallway is not completely closed off in order to allow the stone to get moisture from the outside. If you look down, you will see a quote by Ted Kennedy. This marble was a gift from UCM students to Professor Turndecker for the time that he served as acting dean of UCM in 2016. Although UCM has a lot of different learning spaces, this reading room is the designated quiet study space. In here, you can normally find all books and reading materials for every course at UCM. These books are divided into different academic fields so that you can easily find what you're looking for. However, taking books out of this room is not an option to make sure they're always available for other students. If you have trouble finding a spot here, thankfully, one of the university's libraries is a mere one minute walk from UCM. It offers a lot more study spaces and has many more books you can borrow. Next to that, 
I like to use the city wall as an outdoor study space or just for a breath of fresh air. Universalis, the UCM Study Association, coordinates over 20 student-led committees and this is their headquarters. In here, they make semester plans and organize meetings such as the General Assembly in which committees' budgets are democratically approved. They help organize social and academic events such as the curriculum fair and the open mic night. During my time on the board, I was part of the academic council and helped organize events such as guest lectures. And now, Iago will take you on the last part of the tour. Hello there, I'm Iago. I'm Spanish-German, but grew up in different countries around Europe and Latin America. At UCM, I focus on economics. The next part of our tour starts here, the computer area, where students can use the university computers to study, write on their papers, and access the library database. This computer room hosts different workshops such as 3D modeling, research methods, or film editing for the documentary project. Also, UCM invites professors from other UM faculties with the expertise to teach subjects such as my current course, Intro to Programming. These sitting stairs are an example of how modern elements were added to this historical building to maximize use of space for students. On this wall, we can see a weekly schedule of social and academic events happening at UCM and Maastricht University. This wall was actually a gift from UCM staff to the students. In Maastricht, cycling is the main mode of transportation, as all inner city faculties are within reach of five minutes. Here in the back of the building, you can find the bike stand, a safe space to store your bike while you're at UCM. And this brings us to the end of our tour of the college. Although we were only briefly able to introduce UCM and why it's such an amazing place to study at, we hope our personal insights gave you a good idea of what student life at UCM is like. We hope to welcome you at University College Maastricht soon.